I believe in waterboarding. It's better than cutting people's heads off. Is it? Yeah. Any expert will tell you torture expert. does not work. Why do terrorists cut people's heads off? That's not torture. That's just murder. Okay, but it's and, the, and, and the end wrong result. Too. And and that's the Democrats! <laughs> Woo! The Republicans! <laughs> All right, the first question. What does the Constitution do? It shows our rights for freedom of speech and religion. It establishes our government. That's correct. I don't trust Hillary. I haven't trusted her for the last eight years. She sounds like a Republican a little bit. Oh. How many amendments does the Constitution have? 27. That's correct. <laughs> Are you concerned for your party at all? Yeah, because I think their values have changed. It's transitioned to something else. What do we show loyalty to when we say the Pledge of Allegiance? The American flag. Uh, um, oh. The, <laughs> the uh, country. Pretty That's much. correct. The United States and the flag. <laughs> Who are you leaning to uh, you're voting for? Uh, initially, I was thinking about Donald Trump, but after a while, um, seeing his rallies and everything that he's gone through, I am actually leaning towards Bernie Sanders. Oh. Wait a minute. He's a traitor! What is freedom of religion? Freedom of religion is where you can preach, worship, basically show your religion. It doesn't really matter because it's a freedom of religion. That is correct. How would you describe the Democratic Party? Humane, I think is the best way to say that. Democrats are concerned with the well-being of all people instead of themselves or business concerns. So I think that that is important to me. When is the last day you can send in your federal income tax forms? April 15th. That is correct, whoa! Yeah. How would you describe, in just a few words, the Republican Party? Dumpster fire. Oh. Lori, how do you feel about the Democratic Party? Well, I feel like the Democratic way of thinking. If a Democrat's offended, then everyone has to change instead of just letting someone have their own opinion and not be freaking offended over everything. <laughs> yeah, you guys can cheer on. Clap for it. Whatever. What movement tried to end racial discrimination? Oh gosh. Um, <laughs> the uh, civil rights. That's correct. Did she get it in time? Yeah. Civil rights. Civil rights movement. The idea of self-government is in the first three words of the Constitution. We the people. Yeah. Oh, yeah! We're winning! What is one responsibility that is only for United States citizens? Vote. That's right, vote in a federal election. Well, where do you get your news from? I get a lot of my information from my dad. He likes to call me and talk about the elections going on and what I'm thinking. Because this is my first year to vote, so he wants me to vote Republican, so. What are two rights of everyone living in the United States? <laughs> um, freedom of speech and freedom of religion. That's correct. Yeah! This could be game point. <laughs> oh. Name one war fought by the United... Yeah, it's, it's on you. World War II. That is not part of this question. So I'm <laughs> Name one war fought by the United States in the 1800s. Uh, the Civil War? That is correct! What did you guys learn today? Learn that there's some hope that maybe some of the Trump supporters will come over to the uh, other side of the fence. The dark side. <laughs> no, the smart side, the logical side, the non-racist side. Oh. We're not racist. We're not racist. We're not racist. We're not racist. We're not.